Okay, so now I at least have a red shield in hand, so my sanity should last a little longer with it. Nope, there's an invisible wall in there, and you probably haven't seen it, but I sure have noticed it. Oh, nope, I am not grabbing this blue shield. In the words of one Admiral Akbar, it's a trap! And yeah, you really don't want to grab that shield. Any secret passages here? Yep. There's one, and I don't think there are any sets of two. Oh, yeah, now you give me two red shields in quick succession. Thanks, that was really smart. I could have used it like ten times in the last video. Okay, this is a one-way, so now I gotta backtrack all the way back to the intersection where the invisible wall was. Whoa! Gotta be careful not to grab that blue shield, because else I would lose my immunity to nearly everything else in the level. And yeah, blue shield's given it immunity to electricity, but there's no electricity in this level. Only red fiery death! And let me guess, another? No, it's ten rings. But I would, I would say that it's at least better than another red shield because it would have been so insulting to, you know, have spent nearly every living second of Act 1 without a red shield and now I would have like 10 of them in the same area of the same Act. This would have been annoying. Okay, so I imagine the last flicky is up there, yep. Here we go, so... Area number one is down. Is there any emblem here? Nope. They start giving us springs that have no emblems on them. Just to tease us. Yeah, okay. So, we're going to continue. Oh, yeah, this... This series of jumps is really, really hard to make without a red shield. But I have a red shield. I can walk on lava. Like I'm Jesus or something. I don't think Jesus has ever attempted to walk on lava. But, he probably could do it. Okay, so here's the lost life. I am gaining back. And, okay, now don't think of the fire too much, you're immune to it. Now I don't know if it's been recorded, but I just heard my computer scream at me, YOU'RE HOLDING DOWN TOO MANY BUTTONS! GIVE ME A BREAK! Well, no, I'm not giving you a break. This is Sonic 3D Blast. I'm the one who needs a break. And if I need to push down so many buttons, blame it on the lousy design of the camera and stuff. Not me! Okay, so, got at least more robots to take care of and no fire, though fire is a non-issue as long as those robots don't remove my red shield. So is there secret passage in there? I'm thinking not. Maybe that last one? Nope. No secret passage here. Is there anything over there? Huh. Okay, this is a shortcut back to this area. And if I were right under that platform when it came down, I would have died. Eh, uh, yeah, it's cheap, but at the same time, it's what happens in every Sonic game. Okay, another tempting blue shield that I should not grab, else I'd look like the biggest idiot in the world if I grabbed, if I lasted out for a moment and I grabbed that blue shield. I would, de this would definitely go on my list of most humiliating bloopers on YouTube. And just like that, it's the end of the act. I managed to hold that red shield for the entirety of the act. Well, it was a two-area act, so it wasn't that much of a challenge, but at least the law of averages came into play. But here comes the hardest boss in the game. So I'm going to do something very uncharacteristic. I'm going to use save states here, just in case I happen to lose all nine of my lives and both of my continues on top of that. Which could happen, it's happened to me before. Okay, one, so you get the idea. I gotta nail Eggman in the center there while avoiding his fire snakes of doom. Okay, I think I'm up to four now and I still got a ring! So I can continue hitting him. The fire snake gone, six. Okay, now I'm backing off and gaining more rings from this area. Okay, two more hits, seven, eight! I got it! I got it on my first try! I am a god! Oh my 
my god, and to think I struggled so much with this boss when all the other times I played this game, and here I just beat it in one try and 38 seconds! This is amazing! Although, I, I don't know if I've done good overall in Volcano Valley, because Act 1 really was pretty sad, but Acts 2 and 3 were nearly flawless, except for that stupid jump I made early in Act 2, but other than that, that was pretty good, I must say, for an area that's supposed to be hard. Okay, so now we got turrets that are way more dangerous than they were in the early zone. They, uh, the moment you come near, they, they just start spewing. Oh, come on! Please stop! I gotta pick up those flickies somehow! And how, how can I pick up those flickies when those turrets are firing blue balls of death in every direction 100% of the time? They don't stop! Come on, motherfucker, go up! Go up! I want to get those flickies! No! Now I run into the turret! Oh, well, screw it. I'm gonna put those two flickies in there since I'm near the ring. I'm at least going to take advantage of the situation so that I don't have to run after them anymore. Okay, trying to get those two. If they just can stop jumping! Okay, here we go. E! I thought I was falling right on one of those blue balls, but at least I got all the flickies and it's on to area number two. And here we go, blue shield, I'm not going to spit on that since it's the first zone to feature electricity, and as I said, blue shields make you immune to that at least. Why am I, why did I keep on jumping on electricity while well, I said I was immune to it no less, maybe it's just instinct, but oh, now that was just stupid, I, I jumped into that pucker fish, but I, I thought I, I, I thought it was at a different location, to be honest. Stupid perspective. So now, how am I gonna get that mouse? It's guarded by a uh, Mark II turret that... Ah, oh, man! And now I gotta get those flickies again, but... Oh, oh, jeez. Now a mind hit me. This couldn't possibly get any worse. Oh, yes, it can. I still have to get that mouse. How am I gonna do... Oh, well. That answers the question, now I start back from the checkpoint at least, and I'm going to get that blue shield back so I can try this thing again without messing up. Okay, now I'm gonna try getting the mouse first, because if I'm going into those- Okay! That was perfect! Now if it can just fall to the ground, here we go! So the case of the mouse is solved. If I can just- Okay. Okay, now we gotta concentrate, nail it, not get intimidated by the electricity, and here we go, there's more electric floors over there with that puffer fish, bam, here we go, so now we can move on to the next room in quotes, okay, woo, that was close, so now we're going to take a little pipe trip, not that kind of pipe trip, okay, so lots of, uh, Hands here. Be careful with that octopus. If I can just stop going in every direction and just nail that octopus, thank you. So there is one more flicky somewhere, and it's a puffer fish that's over a bunch of fans. This is just wonderful. I gotta be careful and wait. Yes, wait in a Sonic game. I am not making this up. Especially when Sonic moves like a rocket whenever I push a button! Oh! That was close, I predicted that it would de-puff, so to speak, right at the moment when it did. Because if, had I hit it just one-tenth of a second earlier, I would have lost all my flickies and all of my rings. And I would have, have gone mad having to try and chase down those flickies on a bunch of fans. Oh! Okay, another trip through pipes. Come on! Well, those trips through pipes are just pointless. They don't really add anything. They just make you wait and wait and wait. They can at least make those pipes straight. And I think I covered the issue already in my Sonic 2 Game Gear uh, LP and Scrambled Egg Zone. Okay, now I, I'm already at four. There's only one left. Where is it? I'm going to try this direction first. 
Let's see if it's the last... Oh, yeah, it's the last Licky right there. But, oh, this isn't a smart idea to go straight for it. Oh, man, I didn't have time to pick up the Flicky. Oh, jeez, this is a pain. 